T-cell alpha chain genes undergo successive rearrangements until positive selection or cell death intervenes. The T-cell receptor alpha chain genes are comparable to the immunoglobulin kappa and lambda light chain genes and that they do not have D gene segments and are rearranged only after their partner receptor chain gene has been expressed. As with the immunoglobulin light chain genes, repeated attempts at rearrangement are possible. Indeed, the presence of multiple V-alpha gene segments and around 60 J-alpha gene segments spread over some 80 KB of DNA allows many successive V-alpha to J-alpha rearrangements. This means that T cells with an initial non-productive alpha gene rearrangement are much more likely to be rescued by a subsequent rearrangement than are B cells with a non-productive light chain gene rearrangement. The potential for many successive rearrangements at both alleles of the alpha chain locus virtually guarantees that a functional alpha chain will be produced in every developing T cell. Moreover, many T cells have in-frame rearrangements on both chromosomes and thus can produce two types of alpha chain. This is because, unlike the situation in B cells, expression of the T cell receptor is not in itself sufficient to shut off gene rearrangement. Thus, rearrangement of alpha chain genes continues even after production of a T cell receptor at the cell surface. Continued rearrangements can allow several different alpha chains to be produced successively in each developing T cell and to be tested for self-MHC recognition in partnership with the same beta chain. This phase of gene rearrangement lasts for three or four days in the mouse and only ceases when positive selection occurs as a consequence of receptor engagement or when the cell dies. And that's T-cell alpha chain genes undergo successive rearrangements until positive selection or cell death intervenes. Have a great day.